hello students uh, let's see a lab program of computer graphics and visualization this is the program to draw a color cube and allow the user to move the camera suitably to experiment with the perspective weaving fine so color cube the basic things should come in your mind say it contains eight point six facets right so how to declare or how to define the points since it's a 3d model so three dimensional point we are supposed to consider total number of points required are eight and each point will be uh, will be having three parameters that is x y and z respectively so you need to define an eight cross three matrix for vert vertices as well as for each vertex you need to define a color parameter so two global variables you can see vertices and colors of type gl float 8 cross 3 matrix it is as you can see the contents of the first as well as the uh, second array two dimensional array it is so drawing a cube we have discussed this with respect to our previous experiment that is the spin cube this is the same same set of parameters are taken once again but the difference between the previous one the spin cube and this one is uh, here we will we, we are, will be observing the perspective weaving okay where the earlier one was the parallel weaving or orthographic weaving fine so definition of the polygon once again same as that of our previous example it will be having a, a four different you need to define a vertex see each polygon is nothing but a uh, rectangle or a square structure here so four vertices need to be defined formally the four vertices for four parameters are read as a b c and d so you need to specify uh, the vector representation of color as well as vertex array so gl color 3fv as well as vertex 3fv stands for the vector representation then here uh, specifying or defining the polygon so index values based on the indices or index values we are going to define polygon polygon is nothing but a square or rectangle structure uh, structure model so four points need to be joined as you can see 0 3 2 1 it is taken actually it looks as yeah this is the index value of or this is what the index id of each and every vertices is what what is declared here as you can see so it has got a uh, sorry yeah as it has got uh, six facets eight vertices so eight vertices are uh, named as follows as you can go through in this diagram zero one two uh, sorry two three four five six and seven right so uh, you can uh, check here polygon function is called by passing four parameter in sequence 0 3 2 1 0 3 2 1 make sure that the make sure about the order of the parameter if you pass 0 2 3 1 then how does it looks 0 2 2 it will be joined 2 2 3 3 2 1 it will be joined it looks like this right this is which is wrong so uh, while passing the parameter to call the function polygon to draw the polygon or square or rectangle structure you should be careful about the parameter order of the or order of the index value next uh, 0473 is taken 0473 as you can see 0473 this is uh, drawn right sorry then 5401 5 4 0 1 so 5 this is 5 5 4 0 and 1 this rectangle is drawn 2 3 7 6 2 3 7 6 
the facet which is behind 1 to 6 5 1 to 6 5 1 to 6 5 concentrate here then 4 5 6 7 4 5 of course the topmost one 6 7 right in this way six facets are drawn okay so most of the things are similar to our previous experiment please go through the previous experiment that is a spin cube once again compare the coding part so initialization for the camera it is done using a look at function then rotate function mentioned for thrice with respect to three different axes which represents three different axes of rotation x y and z respectively we are implementing the mouse as well as keyboard so mouse implementation represents to say here which axis axis with zero id id is zero which represents x axis one y axis as well as two z axis each time we are updating the angle by adding a constant value to if it crosses 360 you need to reset the value of the angle same task is done by the keyboard x y as well as z both capital and small right one is used for zoom in other one for zoom out please try to understand you are you are subtracting with respect to small x you are subtracting which is zoom out where v were of 0 plus 1.0 it is done with respect to capital x that is zoom in then to set the view we have a reshape function here view you can compare the function which is used in the previous experiment that is for the spin cube we have used uh, gl ortho right gl ortho with take six parameters uh, instead of gl ortho we are using gl frustum which represents the first perspective weaving or which supports for perspective weaving again it takes six parameter as you can compare one two three four fifth one as well as the sixth one right so again it includes left right bottom top near as well as far respectively then we have the main function from main function you need to register all the callbacks that is mouse since you have implemented mouse you have implemented keyboard then reshape and so on that is for the view so you need to register them with respect to the main function so glut display function of display which begins the execution actually or begins the execution of the model right uh, let us see the output of the program guys yeah, this is what the execution step so open visual studio create a new project keep the pre-compiled header that is stdfx.h then type the program here which i'll be pasting over here okay now see the execution see this is how the model looks for the first time then the model gets rotated for x so left mouse button right mouse button as well as for the middle mouse button guys this is how does how the model looks see even you can use capital uh, yeah this is what uh, small x you can use capital x similarly small y capital y as well as small z capital z this is what the execution of the program guys yeah fine hope you all understanding the concept if you have any doubt you ask thank you for watching